What's up, my beautiful bobbins? That's I've just made up a new word. What's up, my beautiful friends? Welcome to Platform 32 and a surprise Saturday live stream. Um, I have been looking forward to Dragon Quest Builders 2 ever since my uh, stream series of Dragon Quest Builders 1, which finished in like November 2016 and it's finally coming and uh, I'm going to be covering it for Eurogamer next week um, and this demo has been out for a little while and for my video for Eurogamer I don't want to include something that's been seen already I want to be able to get a little bit further into the game and uh, and cover like what I'm allowed to cover within embargo um, but skip past this uh, beginning bit, which I believe is a bit more tutorial-y and stuff. So I thought, well, instead of skipping it all together so my stream series starts without the, you know, the intro of the story, I thought, why not do a quick stream of the demo now? I have no idea how long the demo lasts. It could be half an hour, it could be an hour, it could be somewhere in the middle, it could be somewhere even longer, who knows? But um, yeah, we're going to get a quick introduction to Dragon Quest Builders 2 today. Hopefully I'm going to be able to name a character Colin so that it can be the same character I played as in Dragon Quest Builders 1. And um, hopefully it'll be just as good as the original game, but with some... Um, uh, obviously some uh, quality of life improvements and uh, maybe a little bit more of an exciting story. A little bit of background on Dragon Quest Builders 1 if you haven't watched my streams, uh, a series of that, uh, which came to about 14 episodes I think. It uh, is kind of a little bit like, like a really cute mashup of Zelda and Minecraft I guess, but based on the Dragon Quest RPG series. Is, um, and I got sent a review copy of the game, and I was like, meh, looks like a kid's game, looks kind of bollocks, but I'll do a stream because I've got nothing else to do. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I got really into it, and everyone watching really enjoyed it as well. So I was like, do you know what? Fuck it, I'll carry on doing the stream series. And I ended up getting really, really into it uh, and doing the whole game. At the end of, I watched the end of my 2016 stream of this. Uh, Hi Colin, says Unmol. Hello Unmol. Um, at the end of my 2016 stream, which I watched uh, earlier just to refresh my memory, uh, I said, ooh, if they do another one of these, I'll, I'll, I'll be well up for streaming it. And uh, three, just under three years later, here I am. On a, uh, on a sweltering Sunday, sat in a linen vest, or linen shirt, and and this is a secret, my literal pants. I'm in my pants, it's so hot in here. I just, I'm not going to stand up. Just going to have to imagine that I'm a grown man playing video games in his pants on the internet. Um, if you want afterwards, uh, I'm going to be selling some of my bath water though. That kind of thing turns you on. So, you know just in case. But anyway, Dragon Quest Builders 2. It's the start of my stream series and we're kicking off with the demo. So, let's do it. Uh, who's watching? I expect you to voice all the characters in, says Michael Patterson. Do you know what I did uh, in the last one? I started off um, voicing the characters with lots of different voices and things and in the end I got a little bit bored and I was just, I was just rushing through blah, 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 blah. I'll try I'll, I'll try and do and voice them and stuff but uh, yeah I'll probably get bored after a while like I did last time uh, before I start hello to AJ, Amy, Louise, Dragon Bother, Ahaki, Rupp Joanna Wanna, Carl Richardson, Kevin, Bogust, Leia, Teaser, Dave, Longhorn, Mark Russon, Michael Patterson, Nightcat, Rainer, Richard, So Why, and Steve Malone. Thank you very much. All 42 of you watching for deciding to spend your Saturday afternoon with me. Lovely to see you all. Uh, let us start a new game. It's time to design your character. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be male. Uh, oh, we can. Oh, I don't remember what Colin looked like. I guess it's not going to be... I mean, I'm going to call this one Colin anyway. He's going to have green eyes, like me. My eyes aren't... I guess the that's the greenest. Uh, probably quite pasty. Is that just the same colours, like, three times? Oh, they're just slightly different shades. Uh, that's pretty pasty. 
not you can't see his veins through his skin though, so he's not as jellyfish as me. And hair colour, uh, well, we'll go for a. I can't even remember. Do you know what? I can't even remember if you could um, uh, customise your character in the original. It's been that long. I don't think you could. I'm pretty sure you just played like a, a random like a dude that wakes up and he's like, "What the fuck? Where am I?" Anyway, uh, I don't know. A bit more lighter hair, a bit more gingery. I mean, that's not. I'm not that ginger. I'm definitely more brown than ginger. I'll get. I'll make him a ginger. Gingers represent. Yeah. Please enter a name. Here we go. He may not look like Colin, but he's a distant ancestor of Colin. There we go. Are you happy with Colin? Colin, son of Colin. I sure am. Are you ready, Colin? Uh, you can change your character's appearance, gender, and name once you reach a certain point in the game. Ah. Oh. There we go. Da -da -da -da. You can now adjust the game settings. Once you're happy, select tick. Confirm to save your changes and start the game. You will be able to change these settings later. All right. Oh, I remember there was a problem with the control. Like the like X was do everything in the game, which got annoying for me at one point. So we want camera movement horizontal, no, but camera vertical inverted. Change tools X press. Press and hold to on the change tools X. Press and I doesn't keep it on the default, default, default. Because uh, oh, you can we can dash and ride monsters. Uh, what's walk and run setting? Your character will start to run when you tilt a fair amount. That sounds about right. Yeah, I'll keep it on. I'll just keep it on default the way the game intended. Network connection on, so you get to blah, 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 blah. Minimap style retro, yeah. Uh, looks good. See water through glass. Hmm. I think we're good. I think we'll just leave it like that. Are you happy with these settings? Yes. That looks quite colony to me, says Nightcat. Oh, nice. Are you going to be playing Detroit as it's a free game this month, says Connor Rickard. I don't know whether I'll be playing it on stream. I might do. Um, I have uh, I have gone on to PlayStation Plus and I claimed it, but I haven't downloaded it yet. I'm still supposed to be doing um, Dragon, the other Dragon thing, Dragon Age Oranges or whatever the fuck it was. But then this came out. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Sounds bad. Oh, look at these mean, mean bastards. Thus declared the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Oh, he's a bit more high-pitched than I was uh, doing. Our unholy father gave up his mortal form so that Malroth, the master of destruction, may be reborn and the world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, mighty Malroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Eredric before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. Oh, it's a bit hot for voices. Bring you... Died already. It was an easy game, huh? The moon has waxed and waned many times since that... Wait, hold on a minute. Is this the narrator? Is this the... The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Now peace reigns supreme and our order has been... No, wait, no, it's definitely a baddie. It's been scattered to the four corners of the earth. Just trying to work out who's reading at this point. Dragon Botherer says, Dragon Boops on moots. Thank you. Hey, Amy Louise. Um, So dragony, says Dragon Botherer, indeed. Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah, huzzah, oh, hail Hargon, praise be to Malroth. He's been through about 32 different voices. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to keep those voices up here, says Michael Patterson. I've already got a sweat on Michael Patterson. It's hot in here. Uh, I don't know about the voice, but that was quite a Kenneth Williams face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, that was from uh, Richard. Um, I think the star is the name of the unknown enemy for now. Ah, pretty. Uh, that's pretty, pretty, 
pretty uh, a good guess, I think. Oh, hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from this world of the brethren. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Ooh, Matron. So it's starting off pretty dark. Some uh, some terrible shit going down. Dragon Quest Builders 2. Did Ian go to voice acting school, said that EJ? It's my secret wish, is to one day do a voice acting in a video game. It's not happened yet. I keep I keep doing hints in my streams. And I'm sure some developers much, must watch, but no one's ever... Uh, no one's ever asked. I could do a good orc or something, or a good like, goblin voice. Just like a background NPC or something. It doesn't even have to be a big character. Just, you know, a little voice in a video game. Uh, you are the hero who will save this world. Blah. Arise, my child, your destiny. Wait, wait, am I... This is... Oh, no, what? Oh, God, I'm confused. Probably that's not a... Got a little perky butt. Hey, Colin. Hey, the look on... Oh, I should do a skeletal voice for this one. Yeah, you boob. The look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero, I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Yes. Hey, 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 hey. You want to watch that mouth of yours, boy? Telling the truth might land you with more than you bargained for. Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I have actually got just the job for a lad like you. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. What a deckhead. <laughs> that voice is giving me Rick from the Young Ones vibes, <laughs> says Joanna Wanna. Vivian! Uh, press L to move your character, R to control the camera, circle to jump. Okay. Looking good. Got a book in his bag. A weirdly uh, shapely butt, which you can't see unless the camera is kind of out a bit. There we go. He must do his squats. It says examine. Colin peeks inside the pot. Poo, whiff, what's a pong? That must be the toilet. Oh no. Oh, now I see why they call it a potty. Rest. And there's a. There's no response, it's just a skeleton. Oh, what? That's the shittest uh, jail cell in the world. Well, it's a brig, I guess, it's on a ship. Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. Did you know that you can run by holding R1 and move around with L? I'm sure that extra speed will come in handy, but take care of your high ledges or you'll make your maker sooner rather than later. Oh yeah, oh! <gasps> he does a Naruto run! <laughs> Whee! What are you saying? Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. Press X when you want to examine something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. Oh, and one more thing. Could you stop that girl? Could you ask that girl in the brick to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. Uh, how does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? So rude. Oh, wow, they've got... Why did they let me out? But uh, Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful... Dead Nought. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship, but you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something like that out. Wow! Oh, why in the goddess's name did I ever become a builder if I'd have been a farmer or a miner instead I'd never been left to rot in a stinking cell? Sob. We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished that they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? Sniff. Why are you grinning like an idiot? Aren't you afraid of those monsters? Well, you should be. They're members of the children of Hargon. I'll be very careful around them if I were you. Okay, well, she sounds like a bit of a dickhead. Is this fucking spooky douche hiding up back here? Ah, the builder! Tell me, boy, and do the children of Hargon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this floating coffin? These waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves, and many a vessel has vanquished into the vapour. The crew victims to an unknown fate. Now, are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you! I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Okay. Fine. There's a door down here, did I? 
Should I go through this? Open. Ah, hello. This is where we store our cargo. Oh, slime. Just <laughs> like me, call it the hold. Uh, uh. Hey, Richard. They could probably hire him for a bottle of rum. Yeah, definitely. I'll do the, I'd voice this game for a bottle of rum, for sure. Hey, Miss Frogger Rocks. Uh, so you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff just from a few bits and blobs. Blobs. Blo oh, I get it. I don't know how you builders do it. As the magnificent hog on sad destruction awaiteth all that is built. To think of all that hard work going to waste. Indeed. Alright, well... I guess it's probably time to head up on deck. Up here, Builder. Okay. Stairs are no match for you, I see. You just can't keep a good black down key. Now, as you're no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You've got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother trying. Not that you'd get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. At least I've got some skin, dickhead. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> oh, I've got a piece of kelp. Oh, I bloody love kelp. Hobnob is to knob as hobgoblin is to goblin, says Nightcat. Gollum's really let himself go. It's his long horn. Tee Right, Colin attains a piece of kelp. Colin can't remember when he last ate. The thought of food makes his stomach start rumbling. Believe it or not, kelp can be eaten. Select it with the directions and press square to eat it. Doing so will refill your fullness gauge and replenish some health. Okay. Eat. Wait, absolutely nailed that kelp. Oh. Boat's pretty busy. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The punch and aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. You should thank your lucky stars you've got to scoff such a scrumptious snack because it'll be the last meal you'll ever eat. <laughs> yep, you heard me right. You'll be dead soon enough. Da -da. Why? But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this mortal coil just yet. I've got plenty of hard graft for you to be getting on with first. Shit, son, I've completed a mission. That was easy. All right, so I've got to talk to you again. Key hee hee! No one laughs like that. Maybe it should be tee hee. You can wipe that lily livered look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery any time soon. So long as you've got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to keep hold of it, but you'll have to follow my orders to the letter. What's that? You want to know who we are and what you're doing here? If you're that desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might go, I might add. Go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Okay. There's a lot of them. How about this guy? Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. It shows you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. I might be getting a little bit too, uh, too stage school with these voices. Hell's bells! What a storm we had last night! It washed all the torches overboard and scattered my bowels and round the deck. I beg your pardon, you say you swept right through it? Goodness gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. Okay. Hey, Tons 77! <laughs> Hello and goodbye, Reckless Rex. Enjoy your lunch. Uh, okay. Who have we got first? Talk. Middenhall, Canock, Moonbrook, from forth these three kingdoms to come, the hated heroes, the scions of Erdrick, and laid a mighty hog on low. Made no sense. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Malroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. Alas, he too was vanquished. 
But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I say. Hargon's ambitions do not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this well to ruin. Talk to the five monsters. Hello, human. We were the last surviving members of the children of Hagun, the ones who didn't get squished. We're going to bring this world to its knees, all in the name of the great and glorious High Priest Schlurp. What with all the slurping, I'm just salivating at the prospect of squashing you gormans once and for all. Schlurp, schlurp, schlurp. Does he just... Does he just give me a sexy kiss? Scattered your bowels around the deck, says Richard. A poop deck? I think it might be Richard. Okay. Hello, 55 of you joining us right now for some Dragon Quest Builders 2 demo. What do bats sound like? Uh, this ship keeps swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher ups would never tell stuff like that to a lowly little draggy. That fucking hurts. I'm not doing that for you. What the hell are these? Are these baby dragons? Well, 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 if it isn't Mr. the Builder. You're only the apprentice, but you'll prancing around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere for faith days without bumping into an infant little builder, helping out and undoing all of our hard work. The world's going down the pan, that's for sure. Only our choice is our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one, Cree he he. Fucking hell. <laughs> They're really motivated for people who don't really have any reason to destroy the world, says Nightcat. They're very angry, aren't they? They must have got out of bed the wrong side this morning. You're that apprentice builder that we napped in Cantlin, aren't you? Cantlin was the town from the last game. I must admit, I feel a few pangs of sympathy for you. It's not very nice to know that your end is nigh. Tree hee hee hee. Okay, I've talked to the five monsters. Now what? Go back to this douche. Go back to Skeletor. Oh, so far everyone's just told me how much I'm going to die, so that's nice of them. Yeah, so you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? You obedient little blighter, aren't you? So now you know we're the last survivors of the children of Hargon, loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you boulders are our sworn enemies. We're sailing the ocean blue, rounding up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in our way. Hey, you want to know what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher-ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. It's a real shame when bats get through 20 a day, says Richard. Dr. Claw impression on points, says Ian. Uh, says Sir Why. Why, thank you. Uh, still, that doesn't mean you can't, we can't make the most of what little time we've got left. Just be thankful we can be some of, of some benefit as your final moment draws our closer. Complete. Okay, now what? Oh no, more talking. Listen up, Builder, unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, you'll do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. Here we go. It's going to teach us how to build, which is good because I've forgotten. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn around the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Go on, jump sure. All right. Each piece of driftwood is marked with a boob icon. Run up to one and press triangle to punch it into something useful. Oh, there's one. Wood, wood. Well, I might be about to die, but that is not stopping me from achieving wood. There's loads of, loads of things to chat to, but I'm going to avoid it because it's time to do some building, not voice acting. Okay, I want my deck spick and span. Glad he said deck. Right. Well, well, my deck looks in much better shape now you've picked up all that wood. No flies on you, eh? Considering he has no time, this guy's one hell of a talker. This is Longhorn. Hey, Dreadwolfie. 
Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a kick up the coccyx. That's the tail bone, right? You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? Truth is, as a sworn servant of the Master of Destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind. But considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so make sure... So I'm sure it's fine. He, you wouldn't... What? He wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, uh, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working like the dutiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials by smashing things up. Just be careful that what you bash doesn't bash you back. Okay. <clears throat> Complete. Bum bum ba da bum bum. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying about my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. If anything I'd wager you're actually enjoying this, there must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your dopey mush? Oh my god. Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. Your what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you, you boob. Hmm, it seems like you aren't scared of us at all. I'd better keep you busy or who knows what you might try to pull. Luckily, there's plenty for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you've sorted them out. <coughs> All right, fuck. Talk. I've been watching you, Bilder. I saw you scrabble around the deck, greedily pocketing all the wood you would find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed all of our navigation lights overboard, but such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To it, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see the worn-out workbench over there? Yes, I do. Use it to make five torches. Here, I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Three splats of oil. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five black blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. You bastard. Do not fail me, Builder. Craft five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. Okay, you can close. Blah. Okay, so, workbench, build. Easy. Craft 15. Oh, I know, craft five. There we go. So, I've got five torches. Okay, that'll do. Torches can be placed on top of other blocks. Select the item and press square to put one down. So we want to put one down on each of these things. Now, do you have to... Yeah, okay. So you have to be stood in front of it and square. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's not jump. That's jump. Uh, oops. Oh, no. Okay, that's good. And there we go. Light up the deck. Hmm, it seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself. But I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard this ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray! Sweet. So we know how to make torches, at least. Lindsay Langdon says, Excuse me, you kidnapped me, then expect me to rebuild your ship on which you're keeping me captain. captive? Oh yes, I'll fix your ship. Lindsay is already planning a mutiny by the sounds of things. <coughs> Okay. Three of the other monsters on board have got jobs to do that need a builder's know-how. I mean, their know-how. 
You can tell who they are by the markers above their heads. Soon as you've finished off one task, hurry on to the next one. Got that? Report back to me when you're done with all three. Okay, so there's one up here. We've got three tasks. Three tasks. Do them on just one boat. Here comes a skeleton. It's gonna make me work. Uh, well, if it isn't just a so-called builder, anyone... This one's got a normal voice because it can't be fucked. Anyone would think you own the place the way you're strutting around this deck. What's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys and the captain's orders and you want me to give you a job to do? I'll tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship as long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Or you, fancy taking a swing at this kid? Just try not to kill him, eh? Kikiki. Oh, I'm gonna... That guy's got, like, a head like the uh, Indiana Jones in the Kingdom and the Crystal Skull Skull. All right, better put them jukes up, I warn you. Oh, that skeleton soldier's a proper head case. Come and find me after the fight's finished. If you can still walk. Oh, shit. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Defeat the enemy. I don't even have a... Oh, shit. Don't even have a sword. Ow! The fuck am I supposed to kill this guy? Oh. Okay, so he's out. He was blocking me a bit. <gasps> The skeleton is defeated! Yay! Hello, Angel Bee. The skeleton sounds exactly like Ian's says Longhorn. He must be um, some kind of uh, relative of mine, Longhorn. Well, you're a better boxer than you look. I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of yours hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Oh, it's this one that's talking now. Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all. Kehehe. <laughs> all right, be off with you. Go tell the bosun what a weakling you are. I just kicked your ass, dude. Kehehe, <laughs> you faint like a cow's cadaver. You'll build. I mean, this is what it sounds like me. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon. Kehehe, <laughs> a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of them's torches. You're such a wizard whipping up. Don't make me laugh. <clears throat> huh? What's that book you've got there? What book is that? I just read him to death. Just had an idea. Colin owns a new recipe. A cypress stick. A broken branch whittled down to work as a weapon. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Oh, don't just stand around looking gormless. Put your money where your mouth is. Make this cypress stick, then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. Okay, so we're going to go make a cypress stick. going to make a cypress stick and then listen to some Cypress Hill. Build. Okay, here we go. Equip. A to the mother K, homeboy. A to the mother K. Talk. The boy genius returns. Cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack at that old bag of bones? Now you've got a weapon? Oh, fuck. I mean, oh, yes. That's the spirit. I want to watch that rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Okay. Time to... Oh, wrong button. Wow, leathered. Ugh, fractured compound. No, wait, compound fracture. Ooh, that was a... A nice, nice. Ugh, a bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after this one. Go on, then, lad. Go and brag about beating me to the boatswain. Kicked his ass, dude. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at the state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. Ha ha ha! No cypress, so says Angel V. It even looks like a wee joint, says Dragon Botherer. Puff, puff, pass! Don't fuck up the bosun. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him? Yeah, <laughs> that's a new one. 
I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. Anyway, thanks for that builder. It certainly helped me pass the time, if nothing else. I even think I learned something today. You builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not done for the day just yet, not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones there's someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Complete. Dun dun. Dun dun. Dun dun. All right. This guy. My, my, you have been a busy little boy, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick? But one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of the trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? Yes. Liar! The only thing you're carrying is that cypress stick. You haven't a single tool upon your person. Well, I think we had ought to do something about that, hadn't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder and the brig below decks. Now they are yours. With these equipped, you'll be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without the need to smash them first. Ideal for organising your articles in, a, in an orderly fashion. So, without further ado, take your newfound gloves, gather up all the barrels strewn higgledy-piggledy around the deck, and place them on the mat beside me. Sweet. I shall do this. Yay! Nice, I remember that tune from the last one. Pick up stuff and plonk it down. I'll wager them rosy cheeks have never been pressed betwixt two splintered planks to plug a leak and save a ship, says Nightcat. My. Use the gloves to move objects from one place to another. Press R2 to pick something up or put it down and press triangle while holding something to rotate it. Okay, so... Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's rotating it, but you can't really tell. Wait, can I rotate? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so I was holding R2, and it was kind of keeping me in its place. Okay, so this seat feels like it's a little bit different to how Dragon Quest Builders 1 works, but then again, I don't, you know, I don't remember it being like that. There we go, I'm getting the hang of it now. It's, it's a little bit of a weird way to pick things up. But at least I don't have to press X to do absolutely everything now. More barrels? Yeah, here's one. Get out of my way, baby dragon. Baby dragon do 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 baby dragon do 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 baby dragon do 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 baby dragon Tidy up the barrels. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure you'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that the use of today with nothing but a swarm of work-shy wastrels but based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat and tears you shed in servitude, you'll always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be sh but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. Okay, complete. Is that three people? It would appear you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform the good captain that you require some more back-breaking chops. Okay. That... I will, my friends, that I will. Not seen any Dragon Quest builders before, looks good. I think I'd have written it off as some wee kids game, like Ian thought with the first ones, this Dragon Builder. Yep, 100%. Um, it's 100% that, dude. Uh, I um, I have... Uh, I judged a book by its cover with the first one, and if I hadn't have played it, uh, I would have never known how, like, like, just silly and charming it is. Um, it's kind. Of, it's very slow paced. It makes for a much more chilled stream than my normal stuff. But um, yeah, it's just it's a very chill game. I like it. <coughs> okay. Not bad. Not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working his fingers to the bone for us monsters without a word of complaint. Neither. 
If I doubted it before, I'm certain now you actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that. Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Um... Yes? Kehehe, <clears throat> of course you do. It's what gets you out of bed in the mornings. I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the makings of a master crafter. That's why we can't let you live. Complete. Well, what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running bow to stern building like Billy O now, can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but I'm going to have to sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. Oh, sh whoa, they took. Kee hee hee, just tickling your ribs. Well, that is a cruel trick to play. Don't look so scared, I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin boy. And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, laddie? Will you join my skeleton crew? Maybe I should. Maybe I should, uh, you know, uh, join them and try and turn them from the inside. Hey, Adam McLean is a brand new shiny member. Thank you very much, Adam McLean, for becoming the most proudest of shiny members. Uh, please, Adam, enjoy your brand new box by your name if you like to comment. And uh, also, um, you can go crazy with all the emojis. There's, uh, there's these that you can play with at the moment. A sausage, my cat Titch, an F, a golden F, a tee hee, lesson, there's a lesson, and then there's me, Rich, Simo, PJ, Deli, Luke, Ray, and Laura. Well, Laura and Ray, that's the order. Hey, Isabel CW1! Well, this is an unexpected stream. Hi, all! Uh, it is. Uh, I did it. Um, so I explained at the beginning, uh, in length, so I'll just uh, for recapping for anyone who's joining us. Uh, I'm going to be covering this game for Eurogamer next week, uh, but the demo is out now, so uh, I don't really want to have to cover the demo for Eurogamer because the demo covers the tutorial section, so I'm doing the tutorial section in this stream now. So when I start my stream series on this channel after my Eurogamer coverage, everybody will be able to come and watch the beginning of the game and I won't be skipping it out so we'll know how it starts. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Also, I'm doing stupid voices. Uh, and yes, you can play with my sausage uh, with the special members only uh, emojis. There we go, see? <clears throat> bah, bah, bah. So... Uh, anyway, you don't have to say anything. I tell you, you're too overcome. I can tell you're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something else I've been meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. <gasps> uh oh, where did this rain come from? You boob! Well, you'll have to tell me later, laddie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Oh wow, he's does not like the rain, does he? Ah, an apprentice builder. Ah, an apprentice builder. You will do nicely. I think this might be the voice of the goddess. You're just frozen there, apprentice builder. This is your world to create and yours to destroy. Now, come to me. My child. It's a kind of a goddessy voice, right? Hi, right, Clothiers, what are you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your flashy rum below decks and get into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. Uh, okay, let's head down into the hold and we'll follow the exclamation point. Oh. <clears throat> Where what the heck's going? I don't know who's saying that, actually. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's Colin. No, Colin, no! Colin, don't die! 
You're too young, Colin. Oh, that's one of the goo things. Check a captain, Schlup. Come to the hold quickly. We're deep in goo goo down here. By me, I don't like the sound of this. Hold tight, I'm on my way. I just don't leave Colin. You're right there, Builder. I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get to the hold. Did it! Hog on preserve us! This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bony backside in here pronto. I need your help. Hey, Rito Sin. <clears throat> uh, Richardson thinks my goddess voice sounded heavenly. Oh, I think. Okay, here we go. Da -da 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 -da. Uh oh, water's coming in. Get over here, Builder. What took you so long, eh? I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept right into a reef and a rock's gone clean through the hull. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to Davy Jones's locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate into that hole. You've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Okay. Uh, there we go. Circle. And cram. Lush. I did a good cramming. Oh no. That was a closer shave than I'd have liked, but you did it. You saved my... Now throw me a bow, not more holes. That's one too. Yeah, we're taking on more water. You've got to do something. Use more crates to plug those holes up. Okay, simple. Seems pretty simple. Where are they though? There's one. Du -du 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 -du. Got quite a jump as old Colin, unless that was because I went up the water. Yeah, I think you can kind of swim up the water a little bit. That done it? That's done it. You're a lifesaver, builder or no? I owe you one. <laughs> but our running with that rock has made mincemeat of the hull. The next wave that hits us could... Smoosh. Wang, I knew it! It's a race against time, builder. Cram some more crates in those holes and hurry. Wants me to cram some crates in his holes. Could have, like, I don't know, bought me dinner first or something. Jeez. Done, baby. Done. You shored up my ship good and proper builder. I don't know where we'd be without you. Uh, Laertes indeed says cubic water. Lovely. Mm, lovely. Complaining about more holes. Not identifying with this character, says Nightcat. Well, what's AJ saying? AJ is making banana milkshakes at the moment. Just added some spiced rum. Oh. Uh... AJ, can you fit any of that in an envelope and send me some? <laughs> He'd better be grateful for your help after that, says Angel B. Nice. Alrighty. Uh, you sure to make sure? I've done that one. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much long? I'll throw me a bone we're done for. Oh, oh no. Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to plug up a hole with that size. Oh, crikey, yeah. This is it, Builder. It was nice now. You don't forget me, Builder. Wow. Pretty dark. Pretty dark start to a kid's game there. Oh. Drowning. Squeenix. <laughs> Was Colin blonde in the in the first one? Oh, hello. It's a spooky one.
<gasps> Whoa! Akira Toriyama, didn't he? Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest Builders 2. On a freaking island, yeah. Look at me, who's that guy laughing at my face? I've got a rock, no, I smashed it. There's my car, there's three of us, and there's a penis. Now I'm doing a dig and a hammering. Who's that? Oh no, more smashing gold, yay. Now we're running, jumping, high-fiving, oh, look, there's a ship with a cool, muscly dude. And now there is a flag on my castle. And there's some bad guys to talk. Oh shit, they're huge. Uh... Oh, Colin's got a hat on. In this, I think Colin was blonde. He's got a hat on. Just trying to look at my old uh, Let's Plays. I don't think it matters. Colin's dyed his hair. Screw it. It's still the same Colin. He's just, he's just dyed his hair is all. <clears throat> Did Toriyama also design the characters in Chrono Trigger? Says Laertes indeed. Perhaps, maybe perhaps. Thanks everyone wanted to show my love for this channel. Hey Adam McLean. You are a lovely, lovely chap. Thank you so much. Uh, it is much appreciated indeed. Colin! Awakens on a sandy shore. It seems he was washed up on a desert island along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. Thank you for playing the demo of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Please note that any save data created after this point cannot be used in the main release version of this game. So, that's good. So it will save the fact that I've done the tutorial. In the release version... This island will be reset to its default state, but your system save data and any snapshots you have taken will be carried over. So you can take photos, Buildopedia. So I've not got many recipes at the moment. Oh, look at all these. There's a lot of a lot of items in the game, huh? What's this? Builders workwear. These are, must be hat rooms. Oh yeah, so these are like. So you got plans to build rooms and things in the last one. Okay, blueprints. Okay. Items, monsters, rooms, blueprints. Inventory. Save. Isle of Awakening. Saving over. Sorry. Yes. Okay. So we're saving that. What? 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 Wah, wah, wah. Uh, miscellaneous snapshots. Oh, triangle snapshot mode. Okay, so we take a little photo. How do we zoom in? There we go. Can we do uh, facial expression? 
That's exactly the same facial expression each time. Ah, oh, select facial expression. Ah! Brilliant. Uh. Uh. There we go. Uh. Uh, and you can change the focal point. Uh, someone was saying, I missed it, uh, thinking of getting an Oculus, someone said. Is it worth it? Um, I think it's probably worth it. Um, like, for the uh, just the fact that there's no wires and the fact you can take it any way you want. Um, I would say that the library of games is pretty small at the moment. There aren't a huge amount of uh, games and experiences on the library at the moment. Uh, you're only ever going to need Beat Saber, to be honest. But um, there's a few free experiences you can buy and stuff. Uh, if you've got a PlayStation VR already, then uh, yeah, it's worth. I, I mean, yeah, it's definitely worth it. But um, it's like it's just like a new console, so it's at the start of its life cycle. So uh, games. There's not a huge amount of games to play with it yet, but yeah, like I say, you only, you only really need Beat Saber anyway. Uh, so anyway, uh, so then we can change. We can change the blur and the focal point, so we can have the mountains in the background. And change the color of the snapshots by applying a filter. Rose tint. It's a quite a nice tint. Time worn. Like that. Snapshot saved successfully. You can put your favourite pictures on the notice board for everyone to see. Open your snapshot album, select a picture, and then press square to upload it. Must create an account if you want to enjoy the game's online features. Just agreed to uh, sell my soul to the Square Enix devil, right? So what's that? I just want to use that for the thumbnail for my Eurogamer videos. All your account has been registered successfully. Before you upload something to the notice board for the first time, you need to choose a builder ID. Okay, well, I'll just go for uh, standard. Oh my god! <gasps> Sweet. Can you build a stairway to test how high the invisible ceiling is in this version? Says Leia. Tease indeed. Uh, yeah, yeah, I could do that for you. I can do that for you, yeah. Uh, time to add a caption. Colin? Oh. Oh, what? Did I... I don't know. Oh, I don't... I don't know. I just want... No. Can I... I just, I just want to, there we go. Options. Oh. Colin. Space. Oh. Ah. How do I do space? Square. Colin. Returns. Okay. 
and if I do a share press and save screenshot there we go lovely uh, da, da, da. right so yeah none of this progress is going to save when I actually play the main game suddenly Colin hears a voice there's nothing here the whole place is deserted Skipping past all that. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, smash with this. So, yeah, I don't want to play too far into this uh, world because this is where I want to start off uh, on Eurogamer. I want to start off from this point, you see. Because this is, like, basically. Any, anyone who plays the demo. No one who's. Well, anyone who's played the demo. We'll only have really got to this point and maybe done a little bit of uh, building, but won't have played a huge amount of the story, I guess. So if I start from here with my adventures of Colin, I don't know whether um, uh, this, my Eurogamer one, will be a pre-recorded video or a live stream yet. But it'll be Wednesday when I do it. Uh, but then uh, I'll stream. This will be a stream series on P32 once I'm done with the Eurogamer coverage. Faux shiz, faux shows. gonna suck if I fall off now or run out of blocks before I reach the top Okay, there we go. Oh wait, no. I was just <laughs> stood in the wrong place. Still got plenty of, of, of blocks left. <sighs> Not higher than the actual um, wall yet. It's going to make it a bit of a platform Ooh. Ooh. just uh, to give me a little bit of a little bit of a safety net if I do take a tumble Going. How did he? How did he find room in his pockets to hold all this sand? Still going. Get a good. Uh, I can see my house from here. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the invisible ceiling is is very high. It's, it's, it's very windy up here. Guess we're going to find out if Colin has fall damage in a minute.
there we go. Is that it? Okay, we've done it. This is we've reached the top. Colin is repelled by a strange force. So it's pretty high. You're not unless you're building like I don't know Stark Tower or like uh, I don't know Sauron's Tower. I think you've got a lot of uh, a lot of verticality to play with by the looks of things. So I hope he doesn't need the loo anytime soon. Says Longhorn. Shall we, uh, shall we uh, test his fall damage to end this stream? I'd better eat that just in case. All right, you ready, Colin? Hope you can craft a parachute, you little ginger bastard! Uh... Oh, well, I landed in water. But I don't think that's shallow enough to have really broken my fall. Is there really no fall damage? Lovely. Fall damage is uh, a nemesis of uh, of me and Team Eurogamer in general. So just trying to get to a uh, a higher bit. Oops. to see if jumping onto some actual stone there's all water everywhere because it did say watch out for falling off like earlier oh yeah there we go oh it's just an inch of water an inch of water saved my life there okay so there is full damage but yeah I don't think this is I don't think water that deep will save your legs in real life people so um you know don't uh just because Colin can uh withstand falls from great heights thanks to an inch or two of water doesn't mean you'll be able to so uh there we go um yeah, all right. Well, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go any further with this because I'm going to carry on from this point in the Eurogamer um, video or stream I do on Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for checking this out. I hope you enjoyed having a little look at Dragon Quest Builders demo with me for uh, on this uh, lovely hot Saturday. This is the very start of my live stream series. I'll be making a playlist of it once it gets going. Uh, the second part will be on Eurogamer on Wednesday, and then from our, and then after that, I'll continue playing by uh, uh, back on this channel. So, um, but I'll collate it all into a playlist, so it should be easier for you to watch if you're checking out this video in the future. Uh, thank you very much everybody for watching. Big thanks to Ms. Fraggerox, Nightcat, Carl Richardson, AJ, Angel Beat, Joanna Wanna, Raina Watt, Longhorn, Richard, uh, who else? AJ, Raina Watt, Nightcat, Angel Beat, Nightcat, Laertes indeed, uh, Raina Watt, Longhorn, Carl Richardson, Isabel CW1. Thank you to everybody who's been doing lovely chatting. Um, it's much appreciated, and of course, big thanks and welcome to Adam McLean for becoming a brand new shiny member. Uh, Laura's away this weekend, so I... <gasps> Laura is away this weekend, but uh, because of the week um, that I've had, which is travelling for work, uh, I had to put this week's... Ian's VR Corner video live uh, on Wednesday or Thursday instead of it sh the Spider-Man video I did where I got angry at Spider-Man should have been going live tomorrow but it uh, didn't because um, uh, uh, I was away and it kind of screwed the schedule up a bit so tomorrow around 3pm I'm going to be streaming a uh, live episode of Ian's VR Corner I'm going to be playing, I haven't bought it yet, and I can't remember the name, I think it's called Scrapper 
first contact. Uh, let me double check. PSVR games. PSVR. See all games. It's the only one that kind of looked a little bit interesting. I'm Hungry is just another kind of job sim game where you make food. Catan is a multiplayer board game. Medusa and her lover look super shit. So I thought I'd check out Scrapper First Strike because it sounds a bit like Crapper. <laughs> is that Scrapper or is it Scraper? I don't know. It looks. It also looks like it might be a bit poop. Doesn't look as bad as Medusa and her lover, though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting money into into this nonsense. Look at that. Check out this trailer. It's terrible. Looks so guff. So guff. What's that? Why did they just have a black screen as part of the trailer and then like a loading symbol? There's a bit where a monster clips through a wall as well. Wait for it. Here it comes. Yeah, I just walked through the wall because I'm a good game. So yeah, Medusa and her lover can uh, can get can get screwed. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Crapper first strike uh, tomorrow live on Eurogamer. Uh, I enjoyed Catan on um, Xbox 360, but I didn't play it that much. Uh, Night Cat. Uh, I I don't think a Catan VR game would be my kind of thing. So yeah, um, surprise stream today and a day's notice for a Eurogame stream tomorrow. So yeah, thank you very much again everybody for watching. Have a lovely rest of the Saturday. Uh, maybe maybe drink some rum. I've still got my rum here from yesterday's Drunk PUBG stream. It's a bit hot for rum. I'm going to have a cold beer after uh, I've done this and I'm going to walk to the shops and find something nice to buy for my dinner. Uh, all right, have a great night, everyone, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow over on Eurogamer if you're interested in checking out Crapper First Strike. <laughs> Bye.